Hello YouTubers and welcome to the Kevin T channel again. It's me, your host, Kevin T. Okay, I had done a video earlier, a few weeks back, called Trumpet Class 101. Well, I'm going to sort of kind of review that and reshoot as well as do Class 102. So, this is what a trumpet looks like. You have your valves, you have your mouthpiece, your first valve, slide valve, your third slide valve, and your main valve, which is mainly for tuning. The other valves are also for tuning as well as for doing tricks, but that I'll get into later. Okay, first valve, as we can see, as I take this out, is nothing more than this. A piece of metal with a spring on it. As you can see, it's got holes. That allows air travel to go through. Also has a little notch. It has to be perfectly lined up or you'll have no sound coming through the horn. Thus, you'll hear <laughs> or <laughs> something of that nature. Okay. Same thing with the other two valves. Valve two and valve three. Okay, they each have holes in them that look like Swiss cheese. Don't know why they call them valves, but eh, when you can just call them Swiss valves. New idea for trumpeters. Okay. <laughs> and this would be the bell. This would be the mouthpiece. You blow in through this. This is a uh, 3C mouthpiece. I'm not going to tell you which kind because there's multiple kinds of 3C mouthpieces. Everybody has their own opinion as to which one works. I happen to have a 3C. I've also got a 5C and a 7C. There's many different variations. Some have, as you see, some have a smaller hole, some have a bigger hole, and so forth. Then also has a different cup size, and so forth. Mouthpiece, trumpet mouthpiece. <clears throat> so, and of course you have your second valve slide, which doesn't really do much. Okay, now let's see how I still got it. This would what be known as the B flat scale. B flat scale. I kind of messed up on the arpeggio, but I haven't been doing this much uh, as I should. And I've been playing since sixth grade on throughout high school. So, let's try this again. B flat scale. And I'll even turn to the side so you can see the valve fingerings. They say the proper way to hold it is with the finger on top of the thing, but if you're in a marching band, you're going to want to grip everything you got when marching because you have it up here, you're going to grip it here and grip it here. This is just for extra grip. As you can tell how I play, it's sort of kind of thumb underneath here, the main stem valve, and of course my finger underneath the main thing. I have no idea why they say proper etiquette is to put it up here. Because I can't really, my fingers tend to move, so it helps if I lock in this pinky. Some of you may feel comfortable putting it up here. Some of you feel comfortable putting it here. Same way with the grip. I have both my first, middle, and ring finger on this end of the uh, third valve. And then my thumb obviously goes right here. And I'm holding it like this. When in fact, it's supposed to be... I think I am right. Uh, I've been so out of practice, it's ridiculous. And yet I'm teaching trumpet. That ought to say something. That I'm retiring, but I ain't retired. <laughs> Anyhow, that is basically Trumpet 102 and 101 review. So if you have any questions or comments, please feel, feel, feel free to make them. And don't hesitate to subscribe to my channel. Thank you and have a nice day.